this is just a road. The river's over there. Well, hang on a minute. You still owe me 160,000 baht. He will then get a few explosive texts from me. But by the time it's gone through Google Translate and whatever else, it's probably gibberish anyway. Okay. It's a gorgeous morning. Very bright sunshine. It's very early too. grateful our farm is not down this road. This isn't a river. This is just a road. The river's over there. Crazy. trying to get through here without getting soaking wet. Oh bollocks, how can I do this? That's a no-go. Can't get through there. I'll have to walk around. Here's a coconut tree that is beginning to thrive. Obviously we planted this when it was just a coconut. These here are absolutely stunning. See, there's the actual original coconut. That will do well there. The bananas do so well here, this side of the land. Massive. Massive banana trees. I think we might have to drain a little bit of water out of this canal. Do I dare to walk across this when it's looking like this? Ooh, absolutely no way. Absolutely no way. Sorry Mick and Docko, your bridge is a little bit on the uh, iffy side this morning. I will sort it. Me and Anna have two very different ways to approach the builder and the, his time management, which is horrific, okay? I am admittedly too harsh with him, okay? I have less patience than Anna and I think a lot of that comes from owning businesses in the in the UK and you know things get done on time or at least you expect them to I expect them to 
and Anna is kind of more in tune with the Thai culture although she spent 20 years in the UK she's she's more forgiving of time issues within Thailand as most Thai people are I feel but Anna is way too soft in her approach to the builder and again I am admittedly a bit too harsh with him but instead of meeting in the middle Anna being more firm but not as firm as me in our approach because I don't speak enough Thai to converse with him and he speaks no English what happens is the communication he gets from us as a couple is too light it's too forgiving you know Anna's kind of matey with him and sort of laughing and joking whereas I'm in the background stamping my feet saying this is not fucking good enough you know but he, he never really gets that because everything is through Anna all he sees is that now he will then get a few explosive texts from me um, but by the time it's gone through Google Translate and whatever else it's probably gibberish anyway I'm tempted to really piss him about with this last payment but then if there's a problem with the house <laughs> you know and it's obviously under warranty I think he could then piss us about and say well hang on a minute you still owe me 160,000 baht I'm not gonna go and fix that crack for you <laughs> so all this will get deleted I'm just venting spleen as usual if you're enjoying the video give me a like and a subscribe costs absolutely nothing means the absolute world to me thank you brought a packed lunch for me today Isan sushi. <laughs> no, no, don't eat out the bowl. No, 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 wait, wait. There you go. It's really rare for this river to burst its banks. It did last year. And we were just unlucky with that. The timing was bad for me, especially because it was my it was my first experience of the whole thing, and for it to be floods that bad, it was it was pretty unfortunate. But prior to that, the last time it happened here was 2008, so 14 years apart. It's worrying nonetheless when you see the water this high. Anna's dad's shed is there. It's on a little patch of dry land, but he's completely cut off. This is my father-in-law's bike and his flip-flops. <laughs> and he has to wade through here to where his shed is. It's just around these palm trees. I can hear his music playing. These people on this farm here, they have dug a canal system, you see? It's like a kind of an M shape. And they've growing coconut trees all around. And they've got rice this side. They've managed that section of land. They've controlled the water. And it's not flooded, you see? They've got full canals, same as we have. But this one here, Our farm is just around the corner, around the bend of the river, only about half a kilometer down that way.
last little job to do. So I'll do a full and detailed video about the cost of everything once we've got running water and electricity. Because I feel like those two things are quite important in a house, aren't they? <laughs> what have you been collecting there, P? Mushrooms. From where? And then a tree.